Well, hey, I'm wearing this shirt too, and I remember you wore this. I think on the Jerry Lynn episode, Chad Gaspard shirt. Is it? Is that the one you have too? Yeah, I have a couple of them, and that's one of them. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's, I love this shirt. Uh, did you know Chad a lot before you passed? Yeah, I I knew him. Uh, I'd see him quite a bit. You know, really really good guy. Of course, it sucked really bad uh, when he passed, and the way that he passed, you know, was really really a sad time for for everybody you know um i'm trying to think about like where i met him um i can't remember i don't remember exactly where i met him and where all we crossed paths i just uh i remember he was the one that hooked me up with uh cameo i remember that oh really yeah we were at a convention comic convention in la and uh, he was there um, with his partner and, and, and talking about, dude, it's like celebrity voicemail only. It's like, like it's better. Like these guys are really you know, pushing it. Like they're they're more in tune, you know, with with, with you know culture and, uh, and you know you can do both. It's not exclusive, you know. And, and I was like, ah, I don't know, you know. And they put a guy on the phone to talk to me or whatever that was uh, wanted to pick me up as a client. So um, I remember that. Um, Good guy, you know. Good guy. He was, when I first started at WrestleZone, and I was just a novice at all this stuff, and not, like, kind of just amateur at a lot of it when it came into it. He was, like, the really first wrestler I connected with in a lot of ways. Like, he reached out to me or to WrestleZone in some capacity about, like, the script he was writing about wrestlers and stuff like that. He had, like, a show he was playing or a movie, and uh, I remember promoting it. I never got to interview him. I did get to meet him, though, uh, in New York at uh, Wally Mania. And so that was cool. But yeah, it was always uh, such a nice dude, very um, outgoing and stuff. And yeah, the way he passed, I mean, it was heroic, but it's very sad, obviously. And, yeah, yeah. And uh, for anyone who doesn't know, he drowned and uh, was trying to save his son from drowning and, you know, kind of sacrificed himself the way the story goes. So it's really, really touching. Um, he, he had a lot of ambition. A lot of aspirations. He was one of those, one of those hustlers that's always, always getting involved in different things. You know, waiting for, uh, which we all are. You know, but some more, more than others. You know, to an extent. You know, where, you know, it's um, always just trying to fight, find the right, the right project to be a part of. You know, which in our business, that's how it works. You know, you can be like part of like one thing that really takes off. And, and be very rewarding. And, and I just remember him, you know, with different things. One time it was these little squishy, squishy, like little wrestle buddies, you know, and he was like, uh, dude, yeah, they want to make one of you too. It's like really cool, man. It's a, and it was like little, little wrestle buddies, like, uh, another one called squish mellows back then. But, um, and I remember saying, uh, you know, I can, yeah, I'll talk, I'll talk to the guy, you know, I mean, where, where are they distributed? You know, am I just getting a mate or, there's this guy distributing him too. And um, I just, I just remember like he he had the uh, ambition to always have his, his ear open and neck out there to pick up on uh, different, different things like that. And every once in a while, something big will come through and all the boys hook each other up, you know, like, dude, are you part of the new video game yet? Yeah. Bro, yeah. <laughs> no, he was great. And I remember, yeah, just to him sending me like the, first draft of one of his scripts and stuff like that for the pilot episode and stuff and it was just really cool like he was a go-getter about everything and stuff like that and wasn't yep. afraid to kind of do that kind of stuff and put himself out there and so and then hearing the stories about him and how much you know how helpful he was to other people it, it was sad it was very sad but yeah i mean like such a great guy uh yeah the, uh, very appreciative that i got to know him just a little bit too so uh, i thought it was cool when i saw you wear that shirt and i was like i gotta find mine i had it somewhere and i finally found it yesterday so i was like i'm gonna wear it so. <laughs> yeah cool cool man 